Hey everybody, this is Josh Paul, host of the Small Marketing Teams podcast. I'm really glad that you're checking out the show today. If you're trying to grow your business and you're not a household name or a well-funded startup, you need to do things differently. And that's what we get into on this podcast. If that's you, go ahead and click subscribe on the screen right now so that you'll get notified when we put out new tips, new tutorials, and new advice for small marketing and sales teams. We know our system and they know their business. We have to take you with us to that dark place to come out on the other side and make the system work for your sales team. Small Marketing Teams, episode 24. You're listening to the Small Marketing Team Show with Josh Paul, the podcast where you'll learn how to achieve big growth without a big budget. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to today's session of the Small Marketing Teams Show, the podcast that marketers, salespeople, and business owners rely on to learn how to do more with less. Each week, I'll teach you how you can grow your company without the big budgets that we associate with marketing today. Whether you're the only marketer in your company, and you're also the salesperson, the CEO, and the person who does payroll, or you have a marketing team big enough to need an org chart, you're in the right place. I'm your host, Josh Paul. Let's get started. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this episode of the Small Marketing Teams podcast. I am really glad that you're here. Now, even though this is called the Small Marketing Teams podcast, and I'm speaking to small marketing teams, a lot of times we cover sales and marketing concepts, and that's for two reasons. Uh, the marketing group is uh, increasingly owning the sales technology. Uh, for instance, if you're using HubSpot, a lot of times you brought in the platform for your marketing purposes and then you grew it uh, over time to include the CRM and now your sales team is using the same platform as your marketing team and the marketing team has a lot more involvement in the configuration of that. The second reason that we cover a lot of sales processes is I know firsthand that if sales doesn't have the systems and the tools and the processes to close the leads that marketing is bringing in, then who gets the blame? Marketing gets the blame. So these are topics that if you're at a small or mid-sized company and you have a small marketing team and a small sales team, these are things that the marketing team needs to know about. And if you're in sales leadership, sales management, and you're on this call today, we are happy to have you. This is going to be really, really relevant. The trend in CRMs and sales tools right now is simplicity. This is the trend in the marketing messaging that you're seeing. Uh, it's supposed to solve all of your CRM adoption and sales velocity and reporting problems. I think we're coming off a period of more complex sales systems. And so you'll see ads and emails touting the world's easiest CRM and finally a simple CRM. And if you came from the world of ERP type CRMs like Salesforce and Oracle and Infor, these are highly configurable, very complex systems, then this messaging for simple CRMs is a breath of fresh air. After all, no sales rep ever said I love filling out 11 fields and clicking to four different screens to track the next steps for my leads or to set up a follow-up call reminder. No one ever said that. It's an awful process if you've ever worked with a complex CRM system. So simple CRMs, that message is really resonating. But the problem with the simple CRM message is that it's very misleading. If you buy a CRM based on ease of use, you end up mainly living with the default settings. My clients are often afraid to look under the hood into everything that their CRM can do for fear of complicating their sales process or messing something up or going down a rabbit hole that frustrates their sales team. So they stick with the default settings. But trusting that the CRM software provider's defaults will work for your business means that you're neglecting important parts of configuring your lead management process. And these are things that make your sales team really efficient and give your management team the business specific data that they need, the data that around your specific people and process that they need to make decisions. So when you're seeking a simpler CRM, you have to understand two things. I call this the duality of lead management. You need to know that number one, in the end, your CRM and daily task flows for your sales reps need to be dead simple. 
period. That's it. End of story. Your CRM and the flow that your sales reps take to work leads needs to be dead simple. The second thing that you need to know is that before your CRM can be simple for your sales reps, you need to work through the complexity that comes with overlaying your sales process on your CRM, sales automation opportunities, and creating your business-specific lead management framework. When my team first starts taking clients through the HS Sales Success Program, this is our process for setting up sales teams for success using the HubSpot CRM. You can see them get increasingly frustrated in the first workshop. Here they are. They were promised a simple process in their CRM that makes their sales team crazy efficient and keeps their data clean so that their managers can make quick and accurate decisions. But what they're experiencing is a deep dive into their lead sources, their lead tracking data, and their sales process. We make them relive everything that frustrates them today as we lay out their often headache-inducing current CRM process before mapping it to their new lead management definitions and process. It's a lot to take in. And so you can hear the frustration in their voices and how they can handle it. Oftentimes these are the sales managers or VP of marketing who's working with us to set this up. But what they're worried about is overwhelming their sales reps and grinding their sales productivity to a halt. And then in an instant, we reveal something that makes all of that stress disappear and puts their fears at ease. We introduce them to the duality of lead management. We remind them that we need to get our hands around all of the routes that leads can take. We need to get our hands around all of the people who handle leads and what that handoff process looks like and how people are notified when they, it's their turn to work a lead. We need to get our hands around all of the different sales steps for the different markets and products that they offer. All of this as we're creating their new lead management process. Only then can we run those inputs through our HS Sales Success system to produce an ultra-efficient workflow for their sales team. It's only after we get our hands around all of the nuance and complexity. And unfortunately, since we know our system and they know their business, we have to take you with us to that dark place to come out on the other side and make the system work for your sales team. It's not until we help them understand those two things that number one, the end result will be a process that your sales reps love and use. And number two, the complexity of the initial workshops is necessary to reach that goal. It's not until we help them understand those two things that my clients fully get the importance of lead management and the process that they need to go through to get it right. So on those meetings, you can immediately see the tension leave the meeting. Their energy level jumps and their buy-in to continuing this upfront lead management deep dive is stronger than ever. So the question that we started with of whether you should get a simple CRM or a more complicated sales system for your company is not the right question. Also along those lines, I want you to see through the marketing messages of the quote unquote simple CRM platform. They don't tell you the whole story. The truth is that there's a time when your CRM should be super simple for your sales team to use on a daily basis. However, to get there behind the scenes, you need complex business specific lead management processes and automation. Without it, your dream of a simple CRM experience that allows your sales reps to handle more leads and get into more sales conversations and ultimately close more deals, it'll stay just that. It will stay a dream without setting up that complex process behind the scenes on the back end that your sales reps will never see, but you have to help plan out at the beginning of the process. So if you're in a situation where you bought a simple CRM and you're now dealing with the wild west of everybody using it differently and following their own process or not having a process for you as on the management level to see what's working in your process and what's working in your personnel and what is not, then I would love to connect with you. Whatever platform that you are listening to this on, reach out to me on Facebook or LinkedIn or YouTube. You can find me there. I'm, I would love to connect with you. And with that, thanks for listening, everybody. I will see you online. 